Yeah, look, it, it really is disappointing. Um, I know this feeling when you come to Bathurst and you've got a good shot and it, it, it gets taken away. And that's racing. It happens at Bathurst in the 1000. And it's even more obvious at a race like this because there's a lot of different pace cars and a lot of drivers that have got more experience and, and less experience. So we just got caught out there. Obviously, the Ferrari dropped its guts everywhere and uh, and stopped on the track. And poor Chio had uh, nowhere to go and got caught on the floor and went straight in pretty hard. And that's what it's like across the hill and that's why this event is is such an exciting one because anything can happen over the 12 hours and for us we're just trying to get through unscathed for the first eight or ten you know and worry about our position a little bit further down the track so disappointing to uh have the nismo team um with a car in that condition they did such an exceptional job it's really been a pleasure for me to work with these guys and you see the emotion now that the car's been taken out of the race they care about it so much so disappointing but that that is racing isn't it it's very different for me. The start procedure, rolling start, everything is a, a little different. We did a little bit last year in our category, but I expected with a 12-hour race that people would just take it easy for a little bit. And the first uh, two stints are pushing from what I felt was pretty hard. Like we're doing 205s and 206s and 207s in traffic, you know, so it's, the pace was very quick. We're trying to conserve fuel and push at the same time was tough. So there's a lot of good cars up and down pit lane with a lot of pace. Uh, so it was very good. Um, we had, a, obviously, the Mercedes was very forceful and drove into our door early on when I had a, a slower car on the outside, which uh, took me by surprise so early in the race. But it is, it is fierce racing. I expected it to be a little more casual than that so early in such a long race. So, uh, you know, I think it's a credit to the, the 12 hour in the category how competitive it really is yeah it was so unfortunately you know uh, uh, when I entered the turn 10 uh, I saw that a single yellow flag I did uh, enter the take very take care but uh, uh, then I when I enter the turn 10 uh, the car is spun and uh, I cannot control then uh, the uh, rear section that the uh, stop the Ferrari. If we lost uh, rear suspension section, uh, I cannot uh, drive uh, to continue to the race. Uh, so it's very Unfortunately, uh, our Nissan and Nismo, uh, all of Nissan Nismo staff, they did uh, really hard work and coming to the Australia uh, for the racing in Bathurst 12 hour race. Uh, it's so disappointed. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We were, you know, uh, as a team and me as a driver, really, really up for this race and. Uh, we had a really strong, strong, strong package, which in endurance racing isn't, you know, always the way. And uh, we were looking really good. Rick did a really good first couple of stints, and um, yeah, I was really looking forward to getting in the car. I couldn't, I couldn't wait. And uh, yeah, to see it, it end in, in such a way is uh, is terrible for everyone involved. So. Yeah, it's such a shame that uh, the weekend finish like this. I mean, uh, we were looking quite good. We were uh, P four at that time, and uh, I mean, it's unlucky. It's just racing uh, cars spun in front of us and drop some water on the on the track. So I couldn't do anything to to avoid the car, uh, especially that corner. It's blind. So uh, yeah, I think he was the most surprised. So uh, the most important thing is that he's okay. And uh, yeah, better luck next time.